Well, today capped uh, the end of an almost 20-year adventure for me. I got involved in this program in February of 2004. And I can't say I'm, I couldn't be more proud. And just to remind you, not only did we bring this mission in on schedule, under budget, and delivered more science than we had even thought was possible with the en encounter with Bennu, but we think we've got a lot of sample in that, in that science canister, and we can't wait to, to crack into it. For me, the real science is just beginning. I grew up as a laboratory chemist, studying meteorites and particles from the Stardust mission, which NASA brought back in 2006. So I really am looking forward to the next stages of this journey. Uh, people have asked about you know, the planetary protection. We did go through extensive planetary protection reviews. We were unrestricted Earth return because Bennu is a near-Earth asteroid. Probably material from this asteroid has been delivered to the Earth at some point in the past. It's also a very small body that's constantly exposed to ionizing radiation and no life forms that we, we know of would be able to survive that kind of environment. So very, very low uh, risk. In fact, we're more worried about Earth biology contaminating the sample. The key objective for me and one of the driving objectives of this program is to try to understand did carbon-rich asteroids like Bennu deliver the compounds that may have led to the origin of life on our planet, the origin of Earth as a habitable world, and so we don't want biological organisms interacting with this, so we plan to exclude it from any contact with bacteria or anything else that might compromise our scientific investigation. These samples are an amazing treasure trove for generations, but we currently have a, a team of spacecraft engineers, scientists, and uh, curatorial personnel working right now in a temporary clean room here at Dugway to make the sample capsule ready for transport down to the Johnson Space Center so that we can open it up and reveal this treasure. The, the entry into the um, uh, clean room has been, uh, uh, has gone extremely well. They're processing the capsule removing portions of the um, uh, canister so that they can get a uh, continuous flow of nitrogen into the, the sample canister to ensure that there is no contamination from Earth's atmosphere into that canister and maintain the pristinity of the, these samples so that our, uh, the science team, 200 plus people uh, all over the world uh, can start studying these samples. Once these samples are uh, taken to the Johnson Space Center, we'll be able to re start removing them, deintegrating the, the science canister, evaluating those samples and providing them to uh, the scientific community.